Hi, it's Cammy. Charlie talks football. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. We're back again. And we've, unfortunately, it's not good news. It has been confirmed that Callum Wilson is now injured and it's not looking good for Newcastle. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, get your thoughts down below. But Wilson injured, what is your thoughts? Another blow for Newcastle. Yeah, well, he's got to have an operation, hasn't he? Pectoral uh, operation. And he's going to be out for up to 12 weeks, which could take us up to... Um, you know, April or May time, yeah. so it's not good. Isaac's currently out injured as well, so we've got no one to play up front. Yes, Gordon can play there, but Newcastle have just had such bad luck with injuries I this know. this season. It's been been unbelievable. Hasn't I mean, it? I think it's the end of the road for Wilson's Newcastle career because I do like him. He he can score a lot of goals on his day, but I think you know he gets injuries quite a lot, and I think it is the end of the road for him. I think Newcastle will look to move him on in the summer, especially with this huge injury as well. It just seems to be getting worse and worse um, for Newcastle regarding injuries. Yeah, I think this one was you know just bad luck, wasn't it? In in the game he played the last game, he, he hurt himself, and yeah. um, it's just unfortunate. But Newcastle have had really no luck with injuries this season that they've been really really struggled yeah. I think at one point we had 13 players out with injuries so it's been really really difficult um, Newcastle are looking to offload one top player to create money in the summer I don't know who that will be if it will be the likes of Bruno or Wilson or um, would it be even Isaac I hope not but um, do you agree do you agree that it's probably the end of the the end the beginning of the end for Wilson I don't think so because I think Eddie Howe likes him I know but um, when and he, I, I know, but Eddie Howe's very loyal to his players, and and when he does play, he scores goals. Every, he's, I think his record's about one every two games. But I do agree, he doesn't play enough games. Um, but I, I think, think he'll go. I else. think Howe's very loyal to his players, and if he can get someone in who's better than him or as good as him and plays yeah. more games, then yeah. he'd do it. But I think he'll he'll stick with him personally. But um, no, I'm not saying like whether the manager. I'm just yeah. saying whether the club will want to move him on in the summer with his. Uh, you know, yeah. injury record and with his age as well. Yeah, well, that takes me nice and uh, nicely into um, Dan Ashworth. Yeah, doesn't because it? Um, as you know, um, well, this has actually been going on for a while yeah. now with Manchester United set to be interested in Dan Ashworth, but it's really started to to gain momentum now. Now, many sources for Britio Romano been reporting that Dan Ashworth has told. Um, Manchester United that he wants to join and he's also told Newcastle and it looks like Man United are expected to make an approach very soon now what are you guys' you know, thoughts on this because of course Newcastle brought Dan Ashworth in I think he's made some good signings but Dad there's been many um, reports in the media suggesting that Ashworth was actually quite unhappy and he believes you know that he couldn't be able to bring in the transfers he wanted to bring in. And he, according to many reports, believes that there's too many vices in the club in terms of transfers. So what are, what are your thoughts? I think Ashworth did a brilliant job at Brighton. If you look at some of the players that he brought in, the likes of McAllister, um, you know, uh, Casiedo, um, Estupina, and he's brought in some great players who Brighton sold for a, a mass profit. So I think he does identify players and I think he's really good at that. But I think he wasn't one of Howe's um, inside team. One yeah. Howe likes to have his own people in, you know, with his own coaches and staff, which he's... Whether that's he's a good thing to. or not. It's, yeah, no, I mean, he kept Graham Jones when he came into Newcastle. So um, he, he has, you know, accepted someone who was, who was in the club. But Dan Ashworth, was he brought in by the owners? Probably, yes. Does he get on with Howe and work well with him? I think he does. But I don't think he's maybe he's got the control that he would like to have. And I think at Man United, he'd probably be given the control. Um, and do you think that's maybe um, a bit of a, a mistake by the club? Because, you know, if they gave him control, maybe he could make the, some of the signings, like you said, that Brighton did. I'm not saying he's yeah. made bad signings, yeah. but maybe... I think he's he's made lots the different signings for Newcastle, but was he the one who identified them? But I know he went out to Spain to to, to get the Isaac deal completed. 
um, and he's he's made some good signings, maybe some signings that haven't been as good, but yeah. you always get in that that line of work. But mm-hmm. um, I think the owners weren't happy with the handling of the Tonali yes. um, yeah. the deal. I think there is a little bit of a bad taste there. So maybe that's it. And and if he's not got full control at Newcastle, that he thinks he should have, yeah. then obviously he. He's going to listen to Man United and looks. Yeah. It's, you know, it's it's ninety nine point nine percent certain that and he's going to go the there. The thing is, I think um, is are we making a mistake here? Because of course we'll find a replacement and probably bring someone in just as good as him. But maybe we should have given. We don't know really what's true. I'm sure a lot more things will come out over the next few weeks and months. But if we didn't give him the control he wanted, maybe yeah. that's a mistake on yeah, the club. Yeah, could be behalf. he's maybe he's not being able to bring the players he wants into the club. Um but you know Man United are a big club and they've come calling he might see it as a step up in his career. An and exciting he's, project um, for him. I just wanted to mention sorry he's got um connections with the ownership, the yeah, Man United the Ineos, uh, ownership. Yeah. He's sort of part of that as well. So it does make sense from his point yeah. of view, but it's just, it's interesting, isn't but, it? You know, Newcastle get compensation. It's just whether he has to take Gordon leave. There's rumours about 12 months, but will Man, or Man United willing to pay more to get um, to get him now and and cancel that Gordon and leave? But, you know, there's a couple of names already being mentioned as, as a replacement for, yeah. for Dan Ashworth if he does go. So, you know, Richard the Hughes. Mouth, yeah. Yeah, so he's the he's a sporting director at Bournemouth, and he was at Bournemouth when Eddie Howe was there, and he got promoted from a recruitment role to um, the sporting director when Bournemouth got the Premier League. He's someone Howe knows and trusts, so he's a possibility. And there's also Michael Edwards, who was at Liverpool, but who at the minute has set up his own business, and he he's been um, also tipped to join Newcastle, but can they persuade him to come? We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, well, um, it's it's interesting, isn't yeah. it? Because there's been a lot of talk about him going to Man United, hasn't there? Yeah. And it'll be interesting to see what happens, won't it? Yeah. And I know as well that Richard Hughes of Bournemouth, Liverpool have been linked with him as well. So it shows he's, he's highly regarded. So it'll be interesting to see who yeah. replaces Ashworth. And it could be Richard Hughes because he's one of um, Howe's, Howe's staff previously. So, you know, Howe does like... He is loyal to his staff, so that's a possibility. Yeah, so it's interesting. Newcastle hit with another injury yeah. blow. Wilson's going to be out for ages now, isn't he? Yeah, I know. It looks like that um, Gordon's going to have to be uh, an emergency centre forward yeah, again. Yeah, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy that video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. What are your thoughts on the Dan Ashworth situation? What... It's going to happen with this. Is there another, you know, director of football who you would like to, for Newcastle to bring in rather than the names that we've mentioned as well? Now, I just wanted to mention that Mbappe has said that um, he he's going to leave PSG. So could Newcastle maybe well, somehow get... I think his wages are a million pound a week. Yeah. So are the one that will pay that Could we it? somehow get into that race? But it seems like he's going to go to um, Real Madrid but that was just a, an interesting yeah. thought I just wanted to, to to mention to you guys but Bournemouth yeah Bournemouth next, on Saturday we're we'll going to the game on Saturday yeah it's it's going to be tough isn't it because Bournemouth are, are a decent side it, yeah I think they got beat off Fulham in the last game didn't they but yeah. um, you know they are a decent side but one that we should win but obviously Wilson's yeah. out so we're going to have to pay um, Gordon up front and as well it seems like we've we're sort of becoming Bournemouth FC because we've been <laughs> linked with their director, we've been linked with Solanke, yeah. Billing, Lloyd Kelly, yeah, is that defender. his name in yeah, the he's summer? A good so we seem to be linked with a lot of Bournemouth players, which I don't know whether I'm a fan of that, but it'll be interesting to see what happens in the summer as well. Yeah. Interesting to see Newcastle go for it. It's an interesting cut next couple of weeks it for, is. for Newcastle's season because we we'll want to get some former European football, preferably not yeah. Conference League and Europa League. And we've League. got the FA Cup game at Blackburn yeah, as well, FA haven't we? So Cup that's a big game. And, you know, we don't have the greatest record in some of these tournaments in the past, losing to teams like, yeah. you know, like to Cambridge, Sheffield Wednesday. So. It's just an interesting time uh, to be a Newcastle fan. So anyway, guys, it's nice to be 
back on the channel after yep. we haven't done a video in, in the while. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are trying to get uh, 2,000 subscribers. Leave a like. What are your thoughts on Ash with the Wilson injury? Obviously, it's going to be a huge topic of conversation. Uh, we do need a striker in the yeah, summer, yes, I definitely. think. But um, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching, yep. and we'll see you on Saturday. Yep, bye-bye.